And we begin with a question that won't seem to go away. Did Brown Deer police do enough to stop Radcliffe Houghton before the salon shooting? Tonight, we know who's going to answer that question. Our Tammy Hughes, live in Brown Deer, where an independent investigator has just. <laughs> Yeah, just this afternoon, the Brown Deer Village manager announced that an independent investigator, he is a law enforcement expert, has been chosen. And that person is going to look back at all of the interaction the Brown Deer Police Department has had with the Houghtons leading up to that horrible shooting in Brookfield a few Sundays ago. Fox 6, we took a look back at other police reports that go back as far as 2001. And police officers here were very familiar with Radcliffe and Zena Houghton. Many of the calls were related to domestic violence. And at the issue, what they're going to be looking at is the fact that Radcliffe Houghton was never charged with domestic violence, but the Brown Deer police chief has pointed out that Zena Houghton was often uncooperative or would change her story during the course of, her invest of their investigation. So the village manager says this outside investigator is going to look at whether or not this police department could have done more. You just can't pick something up overnight. So it, it took us a while to evaluate. We feel it's the right thing to do. It's, um, we're looking at the internal in investigation or review and making sure that our proper, our, our policies and procedures were carried out. Now, the man who's been chosen to handle this investigation has more than two decades of law enforcement experience. He's currently an instructor at Northeast Wisconsin Technical College. But this is, he said, these kinds of investigations, he's very familiar with them. This is what he does. I talked to him over the phone. He said he's not going into this looking at trying to point fingers or anything like that. He's going to look at all of the evidence, all of this department's interaction with the Houghtons over the years, and he's going to look and see if there was possibly anything else that could have been done. Reporting live in Brown Deer, I'm Tammy Hughes, Fox 6 News. Tammy, thank you. And we are following some breaking news.